wanted to show off some of the new features that I've been working on for my procedural generation. Uh, you can see here I've got my zone editor tool. This is for uh, creating zones and the zones can be either procedural or static. Procedural means things will be kind of randomly placed. Static means it just loads in some uh, some stuff that's pre-existing in the scene and uh, goes from there. But I'm gonna show off some new pr procedural stuff. So you see the settings panel here, you got a checkbox for procedural and I can load up a PDE graph. And uh, these PDE graphs look like this. They are designed with my proprietary tool for you know just creating these and uh, as you can see it's got some some vertex points and some edges between the vertex points you can see that this vertex point has a label called treasure and this edge here has a has a label called test label and uh over here back at the zone editor here i'll just go ahead and generate a couple layouts here just so you can see what that looks like but yeah, back here at the zone editor, I have an entity placement tool. Now, entities could be anything from like bosses to chests to, uh, you know, whatever. They can be anything that performs logic during gameplay. And uh, let's see here. Let's get moving. And you can see right here, this, this center room right here. Let's see, I'll select the room. All right, this, this center room right here is the room that was labeled treasure it's the one in the very center and as you can see we have this entity here that i was able to place you just simply place an entity like that i'll just i'll actually put the head there test entity all right so i can place an entity there now every time i generate a map you'll see that the entity always ends up in that room it's labeled as treasure so that's a cool new feature. And then uh, it works for edges as well, but for edges, since edges are made up of uh, a whole whole section of rooms, then the entity is placed at any random room along the edge. You can see I've got two entities along this test label edge up top, and you can see that they uh, kind of choose a random room every time the map is generated. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll just change this a little bit. Let's see here. Let's put a room out here and let's give that the treasure label. Then I'll save that. Then I'll go reload it. Go to my generator. As you can see we got this room that goes out to the side. And we have our little treasure entity spawning in place there. So yeah, that's a cool new feature. That's pretty much it for this video.